That is my status symbol. Here are our four kids, and they are fed with a camera. All right. I might not have a 85 millimeter 1.2 lens. I don't own one of those, nor do I own the 50 millimeter 1.2. I have a reason I'm putting this up here. Um, if I had to start today from scratch, all right, we ready for this? If I had to start today, this should answer kind of a lot of questions. What lenses would I have? What's this? What's that? If I'm opening a studio today, walking in saying, here's my space, I need to start a studio with everything. Here's the basics of what I would do, and I'm going to run it high and run it low. You could go out and buy a 5D Mark II, all right? And that 85 is going to cost you 1870. These are uh, I pulled these all off of B&H today. That 50 millimeter is going to cost you 1480, and that 5D Mark II is going to be 2500 dollars. And we are at a grand total of 5850 dollars. We have two absolutely gorgeous lenses and a nice 5D Mark II at 5850. If I had to start from scratch today. I would buy a used 5D Mark I, the first one. And I've seen them for a little less than a thousand. I've seen them for a little more than a thousand. Let's just call it a thousand. I would buy an 85 millimeter 1.8. And I could pick up one of those for $340. And I would buy a 50 millimeter 1.8. And I would get one of those used for 90 bucks. And I am sitting at $1,430. So I have just picked up a camera and two lenses for less than the cheapest thing on this list. And I'm doing this on a budget because I want to preach you start simple, you start off with budget gear, and you grow over time, all right? I'm not going to come in and do this workshop with $50,000 worth of gear and have you sit back and go, well, if I had $50,000 worth of gear, I could take that picture too. Cheap stuff, right?